Hey everybody, uh, Smitty Halibut here. I'm at my local flea market, uh, Hamfest in Santa Maria. It's not a big ham fest, but it's our ham fest and we love it. Uh, but the reason I'm creating a video is because I wanted to show you this cool antenna design that, um, I'm sorry, what, what's your name? Neil. Neil, do you mind being on the video? Sure. Oh, that's fine. So that's Neil. Um, this K is... KF6AH. KF6AH? Yep. Okay, so this is Neil, KF6AH, and he uh, has this antenna that he brought with him. I was asking him about his uh, mast because I want to build a mast or get a mast similar to this. And I looked at these ropes hanging off of this mast and I'm like, oh, so you have guy wires. How will it do? He's like, that's not guy wires, that's an antenna. So let's go take a look at this. So here's the mast system. You can kind of see that it goes down to a, a plate on the bottom of the, that the car is driven over uh, to hold it steady. But look at this. So we have the carabiner at the top of the mast that's just easy to clip on. And you got a ballon here and then the wires come out of the ballon and slip into the rope. And so this rope is not guy wire. This rope is the actual antenna. Um, and then you were telling me about how you slide the, the wire into the antenna. Can you tell us that? Right. So with the poly rope, it comes with a fid that you can use to splice the rope with. So basically I just stuff the wire and the end of the wire into the fid and then run the fid with the wire and you have to, to the point that I want. And you feed it all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So to the point that he wants, that's the key. So let's go look at the other thing at the end of this. So I'm just kind of going down the end of the wire here. What are the different bands on here? Oh, it's labeled. So look at this. So he brings the wire out and puts a connector on it so that you can disconnect and reconnect different lengths of wire on it. So the one here is a 20 meter section. You want to make it a 30 meter? You click that in. You want to make it a 40 meter? You continue on down. And so here's the 30 con meter connection. You disconnect this and it's a 30 meter yep. antenna. And you want to make it a 40 meter, you connect it and you just connect, continue on down. And you just pass the end. And... This is it right here. Oh, that's it? Okay. Yep. Somewhere around there. So if you expand it, you can see you can see that there's the tip of the wire in there. This is one of the coolest antenna designs I've... Bleh, let me try that again. This is one of the coolest antenna designs I've ever seen. So it's a very simple way to have a three band, although one band at a time. Although you could probably put traps in here as well. So the other thing I'll do is I'll actually, if it's windy conditions, I have two of these. Okay. And so I'll set one up, uh, let's say uh, 15 meters or 20 meters, I'll, and I'll cross them. I'll click them yep. both in, and then the antenna is both a dual band cross V antenna uh -huh. and my guy lines. And your guy lines. And so you're able, do you have a second ballon at that point, or do they both feed no, off just, the same ballon? I just tie them both in the same ballon. Oh, because it's got the screw lugs. Yeah. Yeah. That is one of the coolest antenna designs I have ever seen. The, the rope works great. You can get about three seasons out of it before the, the ultraviolet tears up the rope. But it's cheap rope. It's cheap so rope. you just pull it out and, and put so, it into another rope. Or, or if, you, uh, if you only want to use it for temporary situations, mm -hmm. you know, you, you keep it out of the sunlight and it'll last mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. Thank you very much for showing this You're to welcome. me. I appreciate it. All right. Take care.